Hey guys, what's up? It's Wolf here, one only, and today we're going to be playing some Dragon Blades. Now, the only reason I didn't upload last week is just because uh, there wasn't really much going on last week. Uh, all they were doing was removing Star Marble, and that was it. Nothing actually special. And Star Marble got expanded. That That's all that happened during that full update. So, yeah, I'm pretty sure everybody just didn't finish it, and that's why. Uh, I already finished mine. I got all my rewards and everything. I'm pretty sure they're just letting me go through this again and get all these rewards that are just on the table and they'll just get me up here. I won't get anything and just sitting back more than likely. That's probably how this working anyway. But we do have our new patch notes for today. <laughs> the update goes on today and I looked at it at stream. I didn't, I didn't like read it or anything. I just glanced at it. And Naya is coming. I can't wait because this is one of the healers that I've actually been waiting for for a while now. And Naya is actually a pretty decent healer from what I remember. But I loved her design more than anything. Her motto is, you didn't simply survive, I saved you. Okay then. <laughs> Alright, so she's a priest. And her normal attacks, silence. Okay, that's not half bad for PvP, for sure. Her first skill recovers all party members' HP and increases their stamina and their physical attack for 14 seconds. And it stacks, too, so that's going to be actually pretty good. Especially if you have somebody who decreases your cooldown, that's definitely going to be really great to have sort of like Helios but I don't think Helios is buffs effect of Lords that I think I mean sooner or later we're gonna get a character that reduces our cooldown and stuff sooner or later uh, her second skill she removes debuffs on enemies and allies oh and we get immunity to debuffs for nine seconds. Okay, that's not half bad. Get rid of some of those annoying debuffs. All right, her third skill. She revives one dead ally, and it gains immortality to the whole part. Wait, hold on. Oh, dude, I thought it was just gonna revive and give that one ally, give it immortality. But apparently, she gives immortality to the whole group. Excuse me. Oh, she's gonna be amazing. Because this is fantastic for Tower. And once this is over and it disappears, you just go back up to 70 HP. 70% 70 of your max HP. That's going to be really, really amazing. Especially if Kronos can take all of that damage onto himself and, you know, keep her safe until she can use this. That's going to be really good. Alright, her passive. So her first passive is she gains immunity, increases all of the party's defense and HP, and decreases their incoming damage. Oh, oh, I didn't... I thought that was only to herself. But this is actually to the full party. Um, okay. That's a real game changer right there. Alright, and here's a huge reason why people should aim for this character if you are doing loot. Increases all party members attack and additional boss damage by 1200% and siege and loot content. So if you guys are wondering what siege is, it's pretty much the thing that goes on Sunday where you're supposed to go into like this little siege and grab loot, kill enemies for like these essence and everything yeah basically what that is so she's pretty much a game changer to loot on the other hand it's pretty much guild loot where we go in and destroy all the areas yeah so she excels and giving everybody damage on this all right her third passive upon death she gains blessing to all of your members for six seconds Okay, so they start recovering max HP for... Okay, so... Huh. 
Oh. My, my bad. Um, how's actually thinking about this? Your team recovers 10% of their max HP every second and gains immortality. So she dies. Nobody else is dying. <laughs> and I was thinking about my to myself, what if you combo her with Chin inside of Tower? And if and if Naya dies and Chin is still alive, she can resurrect her and she can just give everybody the immortality buff and we can just keep going up tower. Eh, it's, it's not completely out of the question, though. Alright, let's see what her max passive is. Her max passive is increase all party allies' melee attacks and additional random damage. And increase their attack for 17 seconds upon using your third skill so somebody has to die for that though that's the thing someone actually has to die for that <laughs> hmm actually she's not all that bad as a support I knew I was definitely gonna try and build her just because I I love her design but I didn't expect it to be like completely amazing it seems like transited pigs are coming back and then marbles ending. Hmm. I can deal with transited pigs again. Yeah. Even though this this pig dungeon seems like it's been kind of nerfed to where we can barely get any like really, really good rewards from it. Because I I've used a max like pretty much bar. Just pretty much max points, and I went in here, and the highest I've gotten were, like, two triple S's. Usually, you would get, like, three or five, maybe, but Jesus. Kind of sad I didn't save those points, though. Hopefully, I still have a lot more. But, yeah, that's all that's pretty much coming to us uh, this week. Oh, boy. Like always, I show you guys the progress of my... Transcended the essence just sitting here waiting these are will these will be gone or half of them will be gone once I <laughs> create create Naya so yeah you can go ahead and say goodbye to those 5,000 a lot of people have been waiting for the paladin that was supposed to be coming too everybody was thinking it was gonna be coming in a pair but apparently not which is kind of a good thing too so we can have enough time to you know get situated with our new priest that's coming so yeah that gives us plenty of time but before i end off i guess i'll give like my small thoughts on naya so she seems like she's going to be extremely good in pvp she's going to be like black how she used to be when she died she basically gave everybody a blessing or was it an invisibility hold on i can't re actually remember because i haven't <laughs> i've looked at the bfis in like years Oh yeah, it turns out that you can still use these keys too, if you have them. They only work on DFIs though. Oh, they only work on ultimate DFIs. Okay, yep, I gotta go all the way down here. Just to get to black. Forgot, we've been through like, so much in this game. Because one phase we were like in DFIs. Yeah, yeah, basically. I was right. She gave everybody invisibility when she died. So I wasn't wrong. I'm surprised I actually still remember that. But yeah, she's basically like Black, how she used to be when she died, everybody get invisibility. But instead of invisibility, everybody's getting immortality. Which means they can't die. They'll have like no HP. They'll pretty much be like um, in a state of Chrono. Because Chrono also is in a state of like immortality when he has like his his three up. Just soaking up all the damage. You're, you'll hit one HP but you will never actually die. Then when that's over then you get all your HP back. Then goes back to healing and everything. And potentially getting one shot it before her three comes back so yep <laughs> i can't wait 
but she can also be useful in PvE content too. Uh, Chin would probably be replaced by her, depending. But if you, well, actually no, because Chin is sort of DPS a little bit too, so it really varies on who you want to carry. Chin is more magic damage friendly, and Naya is more physical damage friendly. So, yeah, Naya's physical, physical team, Chin magical team. So. If you're still going to stick with the magical team, then you don't really need Naya, but she's useful to have. But she's also aimed towards physical team. If you're going to get Naya and you are carrying, well, if you're going to have a physical team, Shin would probably be replaced in that with Naya because Naya is so much better than Shin. Even though, even though Chen can revive herself, but just think about it. How many times have you actually gotten a revive on Chen? How many times has she actually gotten the chance where she could revive? Think about that. But yeah, she can actually be good inside of our two-faced world boss here. So yeah, that could also be good. I'm still trying to figure out this annoying boss too in his random rules. I think I have something mixed up on the side. Even though I don't think I have a healer for my physical team, so yeah, Nia is definitely going to help out with that. I think my physical team dies first. I At least I think. Did I get in trouble to where they both start dying? I haven't completed the whole 10 minutes yet, so hopefully getting Nia will complete that. And we'll see. But yeah, guys, that's all I got for you guys today. I will see you guys, well, I guess the next guild adventure because I am looking forward to actually showing you guys some more guild adventure. The only reason I haven't been posting guild adventure anymore is just because it's just been the same old things. Nothing's really changed for my team. I mean, I still stream the game on twitch.tv slash both knows no bound. I still got to get used to saying that because that is a mouthful because... It's always so fun because more people come in and just chill with me until Guild Adventure is over with. And it actually keeps me occupied and keeps me motivated to keep doing it. So, yeah, with that said, I'm going to let you guys go. And I'll see you guys next Guild Adventure. Till then, peace out. Don't let anyone tell you what you should do I got a clear view We're gonna make it soon Just keep pushing through Yo, what you got to lose? Yo, what you got to lose? Yo, what you got to lose? Just keep pushing through Cause what you got to lose